you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Serene Madness. Today, I'm going to talk about my three battle blades. Yes, I've been tagged. This tag has been going around. A lot of people have been doing it, and I got tagged a couple of days ago by Mad Mark. Cool dude. I've been wanting somebody to tag me because I was feeling left out. So, Mad Mark tagged me. My three battle blades. All right, here's the criteria. This tag has been up for a week or so. The criteria for the three battle blades, okay. I guess it's the post-apocalyptic uh, times. The world has gone to hell and you are bushcrafting and out on your own and it's a whole new world. So the criteria for your three battle blades, these are the three knives that you would rely on in a battle outdoorsy kind of situation, kind of like a Road Warrior-esque type of thing. So I thought about it. I thought, actually had to think about it for a couple of days because I wasn't sure what I was going to choose. I actually have to get my second battle blade because it's down here. I'll show you that in a second. All right. Thought about it hard and long. The first criteria would be you're basically you, your utility knife or your EDC. What knife would you use to carry on you to do all of your general utility-esque type stuff? Skinning, cutting, all that kind of stuff. And if you had to take it into a fighting situation, it would also work out too. So I had all kinds of ideas. Did I, was it a bit? No, I was the folder. No, didn't want to go with a folder. I decided I wanted to go with a fixed blade. And the your utility knife has to be under, I believe, seven or eight inches. So the knife I had chose, I'm rusty ragging it right now because it's a really nice knife. It would be this. This is, if you can see it, my SOG Pentagon boot knife. And this is a really, really awesome knife. It's one of my favorite knives. It was so badass when I first saw it. This knife actually is one of the first year production runs of this knife. The knife was began production in 1990 and that's when I got this when I, I saw it in the catalog it could have been I think it might have been Smoky Mountain Knife Works I saw the serrated I think it might, could have been in a magazine and I saw it and I saw the serrations on one side and the straight edge on the other yes they are illegal to carry because it's a double edged knife but it's just so awesome and I've carried this for a while and uh so the blade itself, I believe, is five, five and a half inches long. It's got the Creighton rubber handles, the old style rubber handles. Uh, this is a Seki, Seki City Japan knife. This knife was produced in Seki City. I think they actually still do it. They still make this knife. It's just changed over the years slightly. And I think they might still make it in Seki City. And I still have the original leather sheath to it, which is right here tool right on the on the on the sheath you know sog tools what is it sog specialty knives and it's got a metal belt clip on the back so this knife is kind of semi-retired because it's vintage now to me and it's it is a first year production run of this knife and i don't want to lose it so it's kind of like retired but if i ever had to take it out out of mock balls and carry it i would so you can also, you can EDC with it, and you can also fight with this knife. That's why I chose it. I mean, you can you can throw down on this. Perfect perfect blade size, perfect, fits awesome in the hand. Uh, eventually what I want to do with this is I want to make a Kydex sheath for this. And uh, I'd love to merc on this hit right here, just a shoulder carry, just right under there. That would be awesome. So that is my first battle blade the EDC or utility knife battle blade now the second battle blade would be 
your belt knife. This was the this was the knife that you carry on your belt. This would be like your throw down knife. You could, it could be any length, uh, any size, and this would be your your throw down knife, your fighting knife, whatever you want to use it for. This is the knife that you would kind of pretty much take into battle and throw down with it. So again, I thought about this one, and um, I had a couple of other knives and things involved, the, the choices, but I actually chose this one, which is this. Yep. It's actually not done yet. I'm still working on it, but I gave you a preview of it. I'm not going to show you the whole blade, but it's got, I'll show you the top of it. There it is. It's got, it's rock patterned. It is very, very long. I think it's 19 inches or 20 inches tall, the blade. I'm not going to show you the, the business end of it because it's really cool and I'm going to wait until I'm finished, I'm finished with it. But I started jimping it right there. It's got some new jimping. I started getting into the jimping and that's all filed, by the way. That's not... I did all that by hand and brother dig showed me how to do the rock pattern so this is kind of like a, a hand hammered rock pattern kind of thing going on with it I am gonna st I am gonna finish this this week and I am gonna show you the build I started doing build videos it's on another it's got to be all edited together but um, I'm in the process of making the handle separately um, all the prettiness on this end the handle end uh, I am going to heat treat this this weekend, uh, most likely Sunday. Uh, the, the steel on this is 440C stainless, um, and that kind of thing. It's going to I'm going to heat treat it and temper it. My uh, brother Marshall, El Marshall 32, showed me how to heat treat, so I'm going to take his advice and do that. So that's my belt knife, and I've also learned how to do some really cool moves with this too. So I'll show you those when I actually finish it and get the. Uh, all it you know when I can start doing some dancing with it so that would be my belt knife it's gonna be my serene madness steampunk uh, steampunk chopper maybe I don't know what I'm calling it yet but it's gonna be steampunk belt pretty much because I'm a steampunk guy so that's my my belt carry so the third battle blade is the wild card this is like wide open it could pretty much be anything it could be it would more or less be a blade but it's it could be an axe it could be a draw it could be a tomahawk it, it can be blunted it could be a mate it's pretty much a melee weapon um, that kind of thing so we're gonna have to go on a little trip so I'm gonna take you on a little trip with me into the other room we're gonna go to the three madness arsenal for this one you want to go to the Three Madness Arsenal? Of course you do. So I'm going to take you there. So I'm going to shut it off, the camera off, and next thing, next time you see me, we'll be in the Three Madness Arsenal. So this is going to be cool. All right, everybody. We're about to enter the Three Madness Arsenal. Here it is. This is the other end of my house. There are the bedrooms right there. My bedroom. Minnie's bedroom. That's my hat rack with all my cool hats on it. Oh, I want to show you something really, really cool first before we get into the weaponry. Um, this is really cool. This is Nick, Nick Minnie's badges from the um, Home Depot shops. We got four of them now. But I really want to show you this. And hopefully Brother Dell will be watching this video because... And Primal Punch because this has to do with you guys. Uh, Minnie, as you know, is a fan of both of your channels. So he has this on his bedroom door. A little Boba Fett, little Django Fett deal. A la um, Primal Punch. Zombie Fighter Django. And here you might recognize this guy. That would be Dell's logo. And if you look on it, let me see if I can get it. Maybe try to draw hair on him. And right above his head, he's being attacked by an angry bird. So, he put that, let me put that on his door because he wanted it up there. So, that's for Brother Dell. Okay, so now on to the wild card weapon. This is the Serene Madness Arsenal. 
There it is. Well, it's part of it. So right up there we have the Turkish, the Turkish fighting sword. I was gonna go with that, but now that that's not good enough. Then we have the Serene Madness Beast Slayer. That would have been a good choice, but no, nah, I wasn't gonna go with that one either. Uh, right there we have. Let me move this out of the way. I have my uh, Tim Troyer Steampunk Necker. And right below it, I have my Doberman Necker from Andy from Doberman Knives. So on to the wild card. Okay, here's the wild card. I thought about it. And did I go with my tactical baton? No. I could have, but I didn't go with that one. <sighs> Hold on. Uh, my Karm bit. Hmm. Nice, but no. Do I go with my Tommy Knocker from Primal Punch? This, by the way, is the very first Tommy Knocker that was made in Camo 2, and I grabbed it. So I got the first one. And, or do I go with my grandmother's? Well, there it is. It's a big bastard. Do I go with my grandmother's meat cleaver? No, she used to dispatch uh, livestock with this. Really, for real. In my my the, the house that I grew up in, we had a uh, we had a killing pen in our basement, and it's it's still there to this day. We I don't live, we don't live there anymore, but we had a slaughter pen in our basement, and uh, my grandmother back in the day they used to go down to the live the stockyards and buy their own animals, and she used to just take this thing and whack them in the basement and butcher them herself. So she was pretty cool. So. I said no to that. Now, what's behind the curtain? This is the curtain, the wall. Okay, it goes way back there. All kinds of goodies. I got a truncheon, various pole arms, I got my whip chain. Uh, <coughs> there's my uh, knife from um, Boy in Blue 823. Uh, there's my D-Man shiny steel knife, the first knife I got from D-Man. Uh, do I go with my mashed set of Filipino fighting sticks? No, do I go, I was thinking about, the first weapon I was actually thinking about was that one, was my uh, SOG tactical tomahawk, but a lot of people have these now and a lot of people are using them. A, a bunch of people that have been tagged have been have chose this for their wild card, so. Since so many people have actually chosen it, I decided not to use it. So, what I chose as my, so that's kind of like my wall. It's still in progress. This whole thing is in progress. And there's a bunch of boxes, cases back there that have full of knives. And all these drawers have my various weaponry and knives in it. This is my old bureau that I converted into my war chest. So, oh my. Could this be my wild card what's underneath the towel I think this could be my wild card and actually this is a new project that I'm working on this is what I'm working on now along with my my belt knife my, my machete my steampunk chopper these are the two projects that I'm currently working on now this actually isn't done either. It's it's just it's just mocked up, so you're not going to get the full effect because the real badness hasn't really happened yet. But for the sake of doing this video, I wanted to get it done, so I made this. So I, I I'm actually doing a build video on it, and you'll be able. Oh, I'm I'm dragging it out again, aren't I? And here it is. My oh, what is that? What is that? That is my Serene Madness Breaching Tool Slash Warhammer. Look at that. It's bad ass. Look at this bad boy right here. Let me show you a little close up of it. This is all made out of galvanized steel and pipes, pipe fittings and pipes that you can get at Home Depot. And for the head, I used a two inch ball hitch, solid steel ball hitch. I'll show you. It's it's heavy. This thing probably weighs 
maybe could weigh up to 10 pounds. This thing is heavy. So I went with a, I went with a slightly smaller version because you can make this thing in any size, but um, look at that thing. Uh, we actually took this out the other day and just we dry fired it and we we broke a couple of old cell phones with it just to see what would happen and uh it was pretty cool so uh this is not by any means finished this is just the mock-up of it but it's going to be completely different looking by the time i'm done and i am currently filming the build and i will take you along for the build and show you how to build your own so it's long it's got a cap on the end of it and uh, there it is there. so uh that's it oh by the way when I'm done finished when I'm finished building this I will take you out for the mayhem this is my silly little breaching tool slash warhammer or oh, uh, one of them because I'm working on more than one hope you enjoyed it uh, I almost forgot to do my tags for this video so I'm gonna tag uh, a few people uh, first person I'm going to tag, and I will email, um, I will PM each one, each guy, and let them know they've been tagged, and um, we'll take it from there. First guy I'd like to tag is uh, Brother Marshall, L Marshall 32. Hopefully he's got time to do it. Um, he's a cool guy. He makes some really awesome fighting knives, and you all know him. You all love him. He's a cool dude. Um, second guy I'd like to tag uh, is my friend, a brother from the UK. Uh, Brother Dell from the Dark Place, the Dirty Room Knives. Uh, another badass dude who makes some really badass knives. Um, I'd like to see what he would come, what he can come up with. Uh, and my third um, tag is uh, I'd like to tag R W. Um, he goes by the name of Savage Jude the Mod God. Um, he is a awesome craftsman. He's got a sale going on right now of uh, homemade, custom made handmade uh, practice weaponry that he makes and um, he's just awesome he's a very creative dude and you gotta check out his channel uh, I will have all three uh, links to their channels in the description box below so uh, find your serenity in a mad world I'm out